My name is Ryan Bauman. I'm a uh, joint replacement surgeon here in Dayton, Ohio, and I specialize in both uh, hip and knee replacement. Uh, oftentimes when patients come to my office, they uh, want to know what this uh, newer kind of hip replacement is, the so-called anterior hip replacement. Uh, it, it's actually not a new procedure, but it's something that we've rediscovered in recent years as patients want to get uh, back to their uh, prior level of activity faster. Uh, the anterior hip replacement is different from the other approaches in that you don't have to cut any muscle in order to do the sur surgery. So there's theoretically less pain and also one of the things that uh, causes a lot of fear and anxiety after hip replacement is the fear of dislocation or the ball coming out of the socket. Uh, with this approach since you aren't cutting muscle the dislocation rate should be lower and uh, for, for patients uh, lowering the, their anxiety, anxiety level uh, is very important. Um, what we've seen as we've done this more often is that uh, patients uh, recovery is about half as long, uh, they're staying in the hospital half as long, and they're requiring less pain medicine. So for all those reasons, that's become a very attractive option for patients that need hip replacement surgery. So most patients uh, come to, to see me when, when they have long-standing pain in their hip. For most patients, that's pain in their groin, uh, pain in their thigh, or, or pain in their backside. Um, and really, hip replacement is th the last thing. You don't want to rush to, to hip, hip replacement surgery. Oftentimes, if you have arthritis in your hip, you want to try modifying your activity, uh, seeing if uh, anti-inflammatory drugs such, such as Aleve or I ibuprofen help, or even inject in injections into your hip. Because although we've gotten very good with hip replacement surgery, there's still risk with, with any surgery you do. Um, but the typical patient that gets hip replacement has uh, pain in their groin and thigh that is really affecting their, their quality of life. They aren't able to golf or they're having di difficulty playing 18 holes and now they do nine holes in a cart. They can't play tennis or they can't play with their grand grandkids. It's the simple things in life that you suddenly aren't able to do. And once you can't do those things anymore, hip, hip replacement's a really good option. When, when you do uh, the minimally invasive uh, hip surgery, the biggest benefit is less pain and fast, faster recovery. But it's not really that we're doing just the anterior approach. We're also uh, taking a management of pain uh, differently and trying to control the pain at multiple levels uh, such that we can reduce the, the amount of nar narcotic medicines that, that you have to take that make you tired, constipated, and just not re really feeling as well. Uh, and uh, many of my patients, instead of staying in, in the hospital three or four days, are now just staying one night and going home the, the following day. Uh, I saw a patient back just last, just last week who had missed his six-week appoint appointment to see me, uh, and I saw his daughter, and I said, oh, uh, is your uh, dad doing okay? And she said, oh, he forgot about your appointment, and he was golfing. So he had golfed eight, 18 holes just six weeks after surgery. So there are really some uh, benefits that, that we haven't been seeing previously. Uh, there is special uh, equipment that is required to, to do this uh, anterior hip replacement. Uh, we, we use a special table that allows us to position uh, the thigh, thigh bone or the uh, femur bone uh, in, in order to, to get the implants in. And this makes the surgery easier for us and uh, makes it easier to, to get the uh, components for hip replacement in the right place. Uh, not all hos hos hospitals have the uh, HANA table, which is the uh, table that's, um, uh, it's not necessary to do the anterior hip replacement, however it makes it easier uh, to get the components in and makes the, makes the surgery faster. I think uh, Miami, Miami Valley Hosp Hospital is the ideal place to get this done because we, we really work as a team here. Uh, there's an integrative approach where the anesthesiologist, the nurses, the physicians, the case managers all work together and talk directly on, on a daily basis to make sure that the patient is taken care of together as a whole. And it seems when we do that, patients do better, are happier, and get home faster.